In this video, I explain centrifugal clutch. So first question is arrive why its name is centrifugal clutch. So what is function of the clutch? Clutch is used to engage and disengage the driving shaft and driven shafts. So here driving and driven shaft is engaged by using the centrifugal force. That's why its name is given the centrifugal clutch. So here you see the diagram of centrifugal clutch. The first part is the drum or a rim of the pulley. So this is the rim or a drum of the pulley. And inside the rim or pulley various components are there. This component is the spider. And inside the spider that is a slot is provided. So this is the one slot. This is second slot. This is the third slot and this is the fourth slot. And inside this slot the shoe are installed. So this is one shoe, this is second, third and fourth shoe. And these shoe are fitted by using the spring. So here you see this is the spring. In the front view, here you see this is the spider and this, this is the spring. And these are the shoe. The upper surface of the shoe are covered with friction material. So here the friction lining is mentioned. So you can write down also the friction material or a friction lining. So this pink color part is a friction material or a friction linings. The shoe can move radially in a spiders. So these shoes are move in and out means in a radial direction means this is the center point and this is the radius. So these shoe are move radially in or out depending upon the amount of centrifugal force. The shoe are hold in a slot of the spider with the help of spring. So that we already discussed the shoe is fitted in a spider with the help of a spring. The spider is fitted on the driving sub. So this spider is fitted on the driving sub. Here you see this, see this is the driven sub. The spring exert a radially inward force which is constant. So this spring is create the radially inward force. Means the spring is resist to shoes to go outward. Okay. So here in this diagram you see the shoe is not contact with this rim of a pulley. Means in this diagram the power is not transmit from the driving shaft to the driven shaft. Because this shoe are not contact with this drum or a pulley. So when driving shaft revolving. So when the driving start is start to revolve at that time the mass of shoe goes radially outward force it is called as the centrifugal force. So we know that when the any things are start to rotate at that time the centrifugal force is produced and centrifugal force is try to move any product from centrifugal force is put any product away from the centers. Okay. So when the driving sub is start to rotate. The shoe is try to move towards this rim or a pulley. Means this shoe is try to move outwards due to the centrifugal force. So these outward force increase with the speed of shoe revolving with the driving sub. We know that when the speed of the any revolving component is the increase, amount of the centrifugal force is also increase. Before moving ahead. I request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to basic mechanical engineering or other subject of mechanical engineering. For BME subject various link is provided in description as well as in car for other subject I request to visit the playlist. When centrifugal force is equal to spring force, the shoe is just floating. So in this diagram you see the shoe is just floating. Okay. So when the shoe is floating, when the centrifugal force is equal to the spring force. Now when we increase the speed of the driving sub, then what happens? Centrifugal force is increased. So when the centrifugal force is higher than the spring force, then the shoe move outwards and come into the contact. Contact means they are come in the contact with this pulley. So this spider is come in contact with here. Okay. So when this part is come in a contact with this pulley at that time the power is start to transmit from the driving shaft to the driven shaft. The increase of speed causes the shoe to press harder and clutch is transmit the more power. So when the speed is increased 
The shoe is tied with this pulley and they are transmit the mode power from the driving shaft to the driven shaft. So here the power is transmitted by using the centrifugal force that's why its name is given the centrifugal clutch and centrifugal force is increased with respect to the speed when the speed is low at that time what happens centrifugal force is low and if centrifugal force is lower than the spring force then the shoe is floating and power is not transmitted when we increase the speed of the driving shaft the centrifugal force is increased and shoe is engaged with the driver driven members and the power is start to transmit from the driven sub to the driving sub so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channels for watching the more video and don't forget to share with your friends